This is a significant development and a surprising reversal for Kim Jong-un. The North Korean leader announcing a freeze on nuclear and missile tests. But this is a far cry from being an end to his nuclear program. Overnight, an announcement that no doubt stunned North Korea and the world. Kim Jong-un said to have declared his country's quest for nuclear weapons complete, pledging to halt nuclear tests, suspend long-range missile launches, closing a nuclear test site, while promising not to transfer the weapons or know-how to anyone else. The surprising shift coming ahead of two key summits, a meeting with the South Korean leader next Friday, which could pave the way for a face-to-face -face with the American president next month. Donald Trump describing the move as very good news, tweeting, big progress, look forward to our summit. Praise from China and South Korea, but caution from Japan. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe calling for complete verifiable denuclearization. But the North Korean dictator isn't giving up his nukes, at least not yet. No mention of dismantling his current stockpiles and a pledge not to use his arsenal unless provoked. The regime is now thought to possess both a functioning nuclear weapon and the ability to hit parts of the United States. Its sixth and most powerful test last November, sparking fresh sanctions. Kim says it's now time to focus on rebuilding his country's shattered economy. But North Korea has duped the world many times before, and resolving this threat will take more than just talk. Now, it's unclear whether this is a genuine olive branch or a trap to perhaps buy more time or to give uh, the regime economic relief eventually. What is clear is that the nuclear program is what gave Kim Jong-un legitimacy, and he's not likely to give that up without significant concessions in return. Chanel, Craig, back All right. to you guys. Lucy, thank you. Let's bring in NBC News national security analyst Jeremy Bash. Jeremy, always good to have you, sir. President Trump uh, says that the suspension of this, this nuclear testing is, quote, good for the world. You've got Kim Jong-un who's saying that essentially they're, they're stopping because they are now a legitimate full nuclear power. Is this good news or is this bad news, Jeremy Bash? Well, I would be driving under a yellow caution flag this morning, Craig. North Korea still possesses a number of nuclear weapons. They still possess the intercontinental <laughs> ballistic missiles that can hit the mainland of the United States. They're not giving up any of that. So this is a halt and a, frankly, reversible freeze on testing. I think at the negotiating table, the Trump administration is going to have to get a lot more concessions out of North Korea before we can completely declare them having become denuclearized. Well, let's follow up on that then. This comes, uh, yeah, I should also mention, a week before the North Koreans, uh, North Koreans meet with the South Koreans and then a month before that Trump meeting that you just talked about. So then what might uh, North Korea then expect in return for this? Oh, Chanel, I think they're going to ask that U.S. troops leave the Korean Peninsula. They're mm. probably going to ask for a suspension of American and South Korean military exercises. And at the end of the day, they're going to want relaxation of sanctions. All of those things are the things that the United States should be careful about giving to the North Koreans before they destroy their nuclear stockpiles. Jeremy, we know that uh, Secretary of State nominee Mike Pompeo, CIA director, he went uh, three weeks ago, they had this face-to-face -face with Kim, Kim Jong-un, a secret meeting. Um, do we think that there is a correlation between that meeting and this announcement? And, and is this a foreign policy win for the Trump administration? I think it's fair to say that the diplomacy by the Trump administration, <coughs> including by Mike Pompeo, has produced this momentum. Whether it's ultimately a win, Craig, though, remains to be seen. All right, Jeremy Bash uh, for us Thanks. this morning there. Jeremy, thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.